was an interesting ending of last season. Disappointing for me. Disappointing. Right? Did you feel disappointed? As Stella, yes. Yeah. I yeah. wish I had Julia's reaction, which was like, you know, she was like, this is for the greater good. And I'm, I, I have, an, you know, an immense amount of power that's like, never depleted. I'll be okay. And then it's like, it's Stella, it's like, I, find, I waited three years for this moment, and I finally got it, and then it was like, taken away. Yeah. <laughs> You can't even break out in a song after that. It's just kind of like a clamp. <laughs> so, how's she feeling at the beginning of the next season? Well, we start out and our characters are not themselves. We actually have, I don't know if I'm even allowed to say it, but we have other other actors playing our characters. Oh. It's crazy. So it's like, you'll see, you'll meet these characters that you thought you knew, but you don't know. Wow. So it's going to be interesting. I hope that doesn't last for long, right? Okay. <laughs> Did you work with the actor playing you? Was it all good? Yeah, she was really cool. We're <laughs> not in much different. Like, it's wild. I felt we, I didn't realize that that was what was going to happen. I felt we were going to play these completely other, like, different people, but they literally are just playing us in scenes, you know? It's wild. So does that mean, what does that mean for Priya's existing dynamics between your characters? Versus, like, are you playing new dynamics as actors and then also seeing old dynamics play out? Gosh. Not for Julia. I can't speak for the other ones. That might be true, but not in not in this particular character story. What can you tease about Julia's alter persona? What? what? Her alter persona, her the other you. Well, she's she's an artist, and she's like a little bit clumsy, and she might not be for nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing I was going to say, like, she just, you know, different. Okay. How much do you know beyond, beyond the game? We're in episode four now, so their views are pretty interesting, like, their, Julia gets a little bit of, like, a romantic life. I don't know how far it goes, but that's something to think about. He may or may not know this suitor. He may or may not be a part of his cast. <laughs> Some people did enjoy the idea of Julia and other Penny. Is that something we do? <laughs> 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 um, some previous seasons, like first season is often compared to like an adult Harry Potter and then we have like more of a Narnia feeling. Is there any magical or um, sci-fi parallel with this season so far that you can tell? Like in what regards? Like uh, um, so like we have like the magic school with Harry Potter and then we're off the fillery in Narnia and then um, I would say this past season we're dealing with a lot of like Lord of the Rings tropes as far as dealing with giant monsters and sort of things like that. That's good. That's actually I never thought of it that way. That's really good. Um, this season, what would what would you consider like the library? Like, what would you consider that sort of like? Oh. There's some weird like power hierarchies within this season. Uh, I don't know how much of that I can really talk about, and I don't I don't know that much about it. But I just know that like library may have power. They've got the power. You know? And so there's no magic, right? So we're trying to we're trying to get the power. But in regards to like a comparable comparison. Is it Highlander or <laughs> the Jitches? We could be only one, we have power. I'm waiting for like Deadwood. Ooh. I, I, I want to be out. I hope that's it. You know? I just want to be out. Can you pitch that? Could you pitch that? Could you tell the writer? No, that's what you I want? just, this is the first time I'm saying oh. that. But that's what I'm today. I talked to Jade and Summer at the end of last season about a video I think you shot called them throughout. There was a movie being shot. But it did that. Okay, okay. Jade okay. did that. When are we getting to see this magical video? <laughs> we saw it at the rap party. You guys haven't seen it? We have not. I don't okay. think it's very I should tell her to put it on. Right? Yeah, that's that's not, that's not she put it on. She's so good. I call Jade. Get her on. She'd do it. She's cool. She like totally let it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything bad in it. We're all singing. What are you singing? Do you believe in magic? Aww. Aww. <laughs> 
<laughs> so besides the characters trying to get their memories back, is there some sort of bigger storyline that you take with through seasons? I mean, obviously, they're going to try to stop the library. But. So I think that's what it is, basically, as far as I've been told and have read. And getting their identities back once they've secured their identities, getting magic back. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite enemies of the show is Julia and Tini. So when they, you know, perhaps get their memories back or restore themselves, we'll like to see how that relationship how much hard how much hard you I hope that they wind up like on the same side of the street again and like just there for each other. I feel like I feel like they are. I feel like it's so not a cat pressure. It's, it's so, the, the trivial things can't come from what they bring. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of the way they've written it, I feel like what's behind it is a lot more deep. And I'd like to play, you know what I mean? Um, but she, what was that going She, uh, I haven't gotten to work with Jay Johnson. Isn't that crazy? I think they're just trying to see a people with other people, which is good, because we, now we have like, how many? Nine? Tigers? So it's nice to get to see like different. I've still never shot a scene in the mail or summer. Four. But I got to work with Olivia a little bit last year, which was cool. So hopefully you get to see me just like a little bit more. Do you have a favorite memory from the set? Any of the seasons? Mm -hmm. I can't think of like all time favorite. I'm sure it'll have to do something with something with Jason and make you laugh. <laughs> you know, season one he convinced me that he was wearing a wig the whole time. And we're like shooting the last episode of the season and I like went to touch and he did this trick where he like moved his hair, like he like you know you can lose your skin and I was like, Oh my god, it's me. And it wasn't. And that was kinda like that was like earth shattering. <laughs> I thought I knew, I did, and then I did. <laughs> He's like a real good person. How long did it take to get over that? I'm still real. <laughs> I'm still real. Did you pay him back? You know what I have, but that, that's my goal this season. I'm like, okay, tactics on how to prank Jason better than he's pranked me. I haven't come up with a good plan yet, but I'm working. I, and I'm open to <laughs> Julia's been God touched. She's a survivor. She's gone through so much trauma. Is there. Like, I, I know when I'm talking to uh, Summer, she's like, yeah, sometimes I just whisper like little things in the producer's ears, but like, maybe she can have like a happier turnaround or ending. <laughs> is there anything you really want for Julia? The thing is, is that I feel like last year, Julia's journey was acceptance, and I feel like she made it to the other side. And so, like, now she's just a part of the ride. Like, of course, she still is like a human, with, like, she's God, but doesn't possess God like powers. But she possesses still human emotions. And like the natural things that we all like, just maybe on a different level. But I feel like the, the metaphor behind that is just acceptance. And it's like all of these things can happen to us and can make us terrible and they can be wonderful. And we can be, have things to break away from us and take it from us. And then we can have things gifts given to us. And it's like throughout it all to be able to come full circle and like accept who you are and where you are at any given point in your life. And I feel like season three was that for her. So moving forward, it's kind of like she's a part of the tribe, she's a part of the tribe, but she's like, she's just like, there doesn't seem to be any like perpetual, like, dissatisfaction. Like, for me as Stella, I'm just like, I want to be a goddess. But for her, she's just like, okay. And it's nice to just kind of see her like be a part of the team and a part of the journey and try to find magic. But she's not on a quest for any like self fulfilling problems. She's just sort of like, okay, I want to figure all this out. So how do I help? And like, what can I do? And like, it's like, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.